All right, I'm going to go ahead and review two single intake manifold systems for the Yamaha Virago. I own the uh, XV1100 there, and uh, it's a 96. And I've been running this system on the left, which is by bike intake performance. And you can see their manifold at the top here. You buy that for about $80, and then you use your existing Makuni carburetor, or whatever you have in your bike, if you happen to have a Hitachi as well. You use the, uh, the two boots that are already a part of your carburetor system. You strap it in with these metal straps that I have right there. And uh, a couple mods you do inside the carburetor is you drill out the main jet to be a little bigger. I went to 1 16th of an inch and then I raised the, uh, the metering, air metering needle to the second notch from the bottom. And that was about the sweet spot that I found. I ran it for about two months and uh, it works. But what bothered me is I could not get the plugs to stop fouling and right away you say well then you're too rich you can't clean the, they're not self-cleaning well if I leaned out the main jet anymore it was too lean to even run the whole bike would be stumbly so the bike ran pretty good but the plugs kept fouling and the other thing I didn't like so much was there wasn't as much power as I wanted I had more power when I had dual carbs the reason I even went to a single carb system is the dual carbs were really finicky. I had one that was just fighting me. The one I chose not to use was a problematic carburetor. And so anyway, I was just frustrated. So I decided to bite the bullet, and I mean that seriously, and go to the KJS system. Everyone claims that it's the, the Cadillac and the superior one. This system here cost me 730 Canadian dollars. This system over here, like I mentioned, you could do it all for about 100 So this is seven times more expensive, and I hope that it's, uh, I don't know if it'll be seven times better, but I hope it's a lot better. And I was just examining perhaps what might make it better. For instance, this bike in intake performance manifold is literally what you see here. It's just a tube that runs into another tube right about the middle, and away it goes. And I'm curious if this one where it takes the hard right turn backwards is causing my front plug to be so um, uh, sooty. It's funny because it was way more sooty than the rear plug, which is funny because you'd think the way it flows it would get more fuel directly into the rear, but it was typically the one on this side that was getting more and more fouled all the time. Whereas if you take the KJS manifold, you take a look in there, see how it's split by that diaphragm and it sort of forces the air left and right, which to my brain seems to be a little more uniform. Uh, this is a heavier, harder cast. They used to be aluminum, but he's turned it into this sort of plastic uh, cast thing. It's quite heavy, and it's got this rubber boot, so you don't need to use this strapping system to hold it all together. You can see by using these boots and this sort of gasket, it's very weak and flimsy, and there's chances for more vacuum leaks. So this is supposed to be rigid enough to just hold the carburetor. Now this carburetor is a Makuni um, flat side carburetor, and uh, Ken at KJS swears that this is a far superior carburetor to that one. And then that one will never, he said, be able to do what I need it to do as far as operating my motorcycle with the power and efficiency that this one, he claims, will. Also an interesting note, I have a fuel pump system on my newer Virago as opposed to the gravity feed. So he had to uh, adapt this one a little with a different seat and needle so uh, it would run better as the fuel pressures up. So anyway I'm just about to install this. I'm really hoping for increased power, no more fouling plugs, although it's interesting he does have you um, use two degree hotter plugs than what is stock I suppose for using the dual carb system but he says that's this is uh, it he went very technical on me and explained how the fuel atomizes and how you need just a hotter plug to self-clean but it won't hurt anything or do anything wrong. So I'm hopeful, I'm optimistic, and uh, I've spent the money that I should be. So anyway, I'll keep you posted and let you know if there really is a big improvement.